Okay guys, so in this video, we'll be just determining the design super elevation from the given data for the given road. The road is 7.5 meters wide. The vehicle speed is 60 km per hour. The centrifugal ratio that is given, 1 over 10. The curvature's radius, or you can say the radius of the curve, that is 400 meters. So simple, okay? So I'll just come directly into the solution. Now remember the design super elevation can be BB square divided by GR. If you are working that for the road, okay, here that is actually E. Sometimes it's denoted by H. Okay. Now if you are working in you can say railway, you can use GV square divided by GR. Okay. That's capital. This one is small. Here, capital G, that is just gauge. Capital B, that's actually the breadth of the road. And here, G, that is small one, that is actually the acceleration due to gravity. Here, R, that's curvature radius. V is the speed, or you can say design speed of the vehicle. So simple. Now, we need only plug and check in here. Remember, G, that is a known value, which is 9.18 meter per second square remember r that is known 400 meters okay v that's the velocity or you can say speed which is 60 kilometer per hour remember the breadth that is 7.5 meters that's in meters okay r is in meter g that is in meter per seconds here that means 60 needs to be in meters okay i mean the speed needs to be converted into meters so let's just convert that okay v equals 60 kilometers i'm going to multiply that with thousand to convert that into meters okay because one kilometer equals thousand meters now the per hour here we have per second square so i'm going to convert that hours into seconds okay so that is one hour and i'm going to convert that into uh you can say i'm going to multiply that with 60 to convert that into you can say minutes and then 60 again so we can get seconds and that's going to be 16.67 meters per second so simple okay now we can just put all the videos in equation one to get super elevation so e equals sorry that's b which is actually 7.5 you can see that over here times v square now v that is actually 16.67 so 16.67 but there we got square okay divided by 9.81 which is g and that's acceleration due to gravity times the radius of curvature which is actually 400 meters you can see that 400 meters just do some mathematics with that you can just get of course 0 0.53 meters is the super elevation that's e or maybe just small h now we can also check the limit of super elevation okay so let's just check the limit of super elevation i'm going to say super elevations limit and that's gonna be the uh, you can say centrifugal ratio p by w times the road's breadth okay and that is actually 7.5 meters so we can get of course if i'm not wrong that is going to be 7.5 meters that means our super elevation is in the limit okay the calculated or the design video that is less than the super elevations limit that means we are okay here so we can say the design super elevation i'm going to say e and just d that means super elevation design and that is going 0.53 meters you can also convert that into centimeters by multiplying that with 100. So that's gonna be 53 centimeters. That means the outer edge of the road can be 
just you can say at elevation uh, that is 53 centimeters okay from the inner edge so 53 centimeters that's it this is how we can just calculate the design super elevation see you in the next video